Marijuana Kids. How are you doing? How are you doing with your schoolwork? I think of you often, and I'm praying that each of you is doing well and that you have a positive mindset. I want to talk to you today about something that we've covered before in November, but I think we need to remember it. What is next Thursday? And if you were still in school, you would really know what next Thursday was. But I'm hopeful that you do remember, it's Thanksgiving. And what is Thanksgiving all about? We need to be thankful, right? We need to be thankful because God has given us so many things to be thankful for. How many of you actually grumble and complain even just a little bit about things every day? I bet every one of you could raise your hand. Yes, yes, we do complain and grumble, don't we? And God does not like us to grumble and complain. In fact, I think it makes him sad because God has given us so many things to be grateful for. I want you to think of some things, and if I could see your faces right now, I could see you raising your hands and all excited about the things that you're thankful for. I want you to write some things down that you're thankful for. Just write it down. Be thankful for your mom, for your dad, for your house, for food. But think of other things that you're grateful for. And I want those to be things that you remember and that you remember to thank God for. The Psalms especially are full of verses about being thankful. And one Psalm, Psalm 111 verse 1 says, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. Now again, what's our heart? It's not the part that pumps blood throughout our body. When the Bible talks about our heart, the Bible means that part of us that nobody else sees in the dark except you and God. Nobody else knows that. Well, maybe your mom and dad know you really well, but when the Bible talks about the heart of man, it's the who we really are. Who we really are on the inside when nobody else is looking. So giving thanks to the Lord with our whole heart heart with who we really are being grateful and thanking God maybe we don't have all the best toys or the newest toys but we have toys maybe we don't have a lot of books but we may have a Bible thank God for the Bible his love story to us and remember if you don't have a Bible and you want one you call the church office and you let them know that you'd like a Bible and I will bring one to you I'll bring one to your house you let us know but giving thanks to God with our whole heart. The little things in life. Is it inconvenient to not be in school? You miss your friends. It's not as easy to get your work done because you're not with the teacher face to face. But be grateful that you at least have the material to look at, even though it's online and it's not comfortable, maybe. Or maybe it is very comfortable for you. I don't know. But I want you to remember to be thankful that you can still get an education. Be thankful that your mom and dad love you so much and they're trying to provide for you. Be thankful. Have a heart that's not always grumbling and complaining and bitter. Because when we grumble and complain all the time, it makes us feel nasty on the inside, doesn't it? It makes us feel ugly. And God is not pleased with that. That's sin. That's not letting God do his work in us. So my challenge to you is, be thankful. Remember that for next Thursday, but remember it every day. I want you to practice being grateful. Practice being thankful so that you have a thankful heart. Remember Psalm 111, 1. Praise the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. Are you praising him with your whole heart? Are you grateful? Let's review the books of the, New, of the Old Testament, and we're going to go a little bit further today than we did in the last couple of weeks. So Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah Lamentations. You practice those so that you can find where it is in the book of God's book, his Bible, his word, his love story to you. When you want to find something, you know where to turn, not just what the page number is. You know, 
where to find that book in the Bible. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for loving us. I thank you for your goodness to us, your mercies. They're new every day. Help us to develop a heart of thankfulness that we will remember things to be thankful for, not to grumble and complain. Thank you for loving us, dear God, in Jesus' name, amen. You guys have a great week. Have a good Thanksgiving, and I'll see you next Friday. We won't do it on Thanksgiving Day, on Thursday, but I'll see you next Friday. Love you guys. Bye-bye.